<laughs> ah, what a day, what a day, what a day. Or should I say what an evening. Yeah, I was not going to do any more games, and then Tennessee beat the brakes off of Kentucky. I said, you know what? I'm going to do the rest of the evening games and leave the Pacific games. The two left will be in the video for tomorrow. So we're going to have a bunch of games to get into for this evening recap show. So let's, you know, first off, everybody, hit me the thumbs up down below. The likes up on the video with here we helps the analytics of the video be seen. Comment, share, subscribe. We're on our way to 200. Let's get it. So, here we go. First game, they're getting quick. <sighs> Tennessee against Kentucky. Number three, Tennessee beats the brakes off of number 19, Kentucky 44 to 6. What in the world? Kentucky, Tennessee's really horrible pass defense. I can't even make any excuses for it. It's been horrible. Well, guess what? They showed up. Will Levis, 16 of 27, 98 yards, no touchdowns, three INTs. Team rushing, 36 carries for 107 yards and a touchdown. Their defense, two sacks, no QB hurries, no picks, no fumble recoveries. They couldn't do anything. Tennessee, however, Hendon Hooker, 17-25, 245 yards, three touchdowns, no INTs, continuing his dark horse Heisman campaign. He also had 10 carries for 23 yards and a touchdown rushing. But um, Jalen Hyatt, the receiver, five receptions for 138 yards, two touchdowns. That gives him 14 TDs on the year, a new school record with plenty of games to go. And yes, folks, Cedric Tillman did come back in this game. He played a little bit, but he's still trying to nurse his injury, but they're getting him ready for the Georgia game. Team defense for Tennessee, four sacks, no QB hurries, three INTs, and no fumble recoveries. Big game from the Tennessee defense, and it continues to go there, and, well, it's Georgia next. Now, next game quick, number 10, USC and Arizona. I figured SC blow them out. Mm -mm. This was close. Number 10 USC beats Arizona 45 to 37. What happened here? Arizona stats. Jane Delora, the sophomore. Wouldn't thought me much. Well, maybe he'd had his coming out party. 26 of 43, 380 yards, three touchdowns and one INT. Team rushing, 26 carries for 163 yards and a touchdown. The defense of Arizona, no sacks, two QB hurries, no picks, no fumble recoveries. Yeesh. But their kicker, Tyler Loop, did go 3-for-3 three three in field goals. <laughs> SC, Caleb Williams, speaking of Heisman campaigns, 31-45, of 45, 411 yards, 5 touchdowns, no picks. Team rushing, 32 carries for 210 yards and a touchdown. And Travis Dye had 20 of those carries for 113 yards and that touchdown. Team defense of ESC, 2 sacks, 2 QB hurries, 1 pick, no fumble recoveries. They stepped up. Kalen had a big game. Now let's talk about Boise State and Colorado State. Figured Colorado State was going to have a game. Boise State's having their offensive running. Well, guess what? They're blowing them out. Boise State blows out Colorado State 49-10. Colorado State, Clay Millen quarterback, the freshman, 13-20 of 20 for 161 yards, one touchdown, no INTs. Here's a stat for you. Colorado State's team rushing, 20 carries, 3 yards. You heard me right. 20 carries, 3 yards, no touchdowns. How does that happen? Well, when your quarterback, Clay Millen, does only is a basically is a statue and doesn't move that much, 5 carries, negative 30 yards. Yeah, he doesn't run. No touchdowns, they say. Team defense, for, team defense for Colorado State, 1 sack, 1 QB hurry, no picks, but they didn't get a fumble recovery, so at least they got a turnover. Boise State, Taylor Green, the other freshman quarterback, 24 of 30, 305 yards with two touchdowns and no INTs. Can we say possibly the Mountain West Freshman of the Year? Uh, team rushing, 47 carries, 209 yards and five touchdowns. Yikes. George Halani, the running back, 21 carries for 108 yards and three of those five touchdowns. Team defense, five sacks. Like I said, he only had five rushes. All five of them were sacks. Two QB hurries, one pick, no fumble encumbries. Divine Obacher for Boise State, two sacks. Big game. Big game. Arizona State and Colorado. This was blowout city early on, but Colorado made a late run of it. But Arizona State beats Colorado 42-34. Colorado J.T. Shrout. Oh, my, how the mighty have fallen. 13 of 34, 222 yards, two touchdowns, and an INT. Team rushing for Colorado State, 35 carries for 137 yards and a touchdown. And Deion Smith had 25 of those carries for 111 and a touchdown, which means the rest of the team is 11 carries for 26 yards. Yikes. Team defense, no sacks, three QB hurries, one pick, and a fumble recovery. The reason Colorado stayed in this, well, Jordan Tyson had an 88-yard punt return for a touchdown to get it close. Arizona State, Trenton Bur Bourget. Bourget, I'm, I'm saying his name wrong, please correct me. 32-43, 435 yards, three touchdowns, and an INT. 
Team rushing, 33 carries for 122 yards and three touchdowns. And Xavier Valade, 23 carries for 118 yards and three touchdowns. The rest of the team, 10 carries, four yards. Yeesh, not good. Team defense, Arizona State, one sack, two QB hurries, one pick, no fumble recoveries. Arizona State, hey, you got it done. Baylor and Texas Tech. I thought Texas Tech was going to be the team two-point favorite. Do something. Boom. Baylor blows out Texas Tech 45-17. to Yikes. Texas Tech freshman quarterback, Baron Morton. I hope I said his name right. 11 of 34. Oh, boy. 152 yards. One touchdown. Three INTs. Yeesh. Smith and Show, the regular starting quarterback, Show, were 1 and 4 combined for 7 touchdowns and 2 INTs. Show is supposed to be starting next week. Hopefully, you're shut. I'm saying his name wrong again. I apologize. Team rushing, 36 carries for Texas Tech, 149 yards and a touchdown. The team defense for Texas Tech, one sack, four QB hurries, no picks, but they did get a fumble recovery, so at least they got a turnover. Baylor, Blake Shapin, back under center for Baylor, 19 of 30, 211 yards, one touchdown, no picks. Team rushing for Baylor, here's the story, 59 carries, 231 yards, four touchdowns. And Richard Reese, the freshman running back, 36 carries for 148 yards and three touchdowns. Oof, it'll be the Big 12 freshman of the year. Team defense, here's the story, folks. Six sacks, three QB hurries, four picks, no fumble recoveries. Garmin Randolph had two sacks. Gabe Hall had three sacks in a QB hurry, and A.J. McCarthy had an 18-yard pick six for Baylor. Offense not doing making mistakes, and the defense making plays. That's how you get a blowout win, folks. This game was close in half. It was 10-7 at the half, Michigan over Michigan State. Well, they pulled away late. Number four, Michigan beats Michigan State 29-7. Michigan State, Peyton Thorne, 17 of 30, 215 yards with a touchdown and an INT. Team rushing for Michigan State. We talk about Walker was their guy, got five touchdowns last year, and they'd be lucky to get one against Michigan this year. Well, they went 23 carries for 37 yards and no touchdowns. They couldn't even get one rushing touchdown. Team defense for Michigan State, no sacks, two QB hurries, no INTs, and a fumble recovery. Michigan, J.J. McCarthy quarterbacking, 15 to 25, 167 yards, one touchdown and no INT. There you go. That's some good stuff going. Then you've got team rushing was 52 carries for 276 yards and a touchdown. We're talking Blake Corwin, 33 carries, 167 yards and a touchdown. We had big plays there. Team defense, two sacks, no QB hurries, one INT and no fumble recoveries. But Jake Moody, their kicker, two for two on extra points and five for five on field goals. He showed up and was a big difference in the game. 15 points from their kicker. Hey, that's how it gets happening, folks. Now let's talk about Ole Miss and Texas A&M. Wow, what's happening? Texas A&M, folks. Number 15, Ole Miss survives against Texas A&M, 31 to 28. Now Texas A&M's lost four straight. Texas A&M starting with Connor Wegman, freshman quarterback, 28 to 44, 338 yards, four touchdowns and no INTs. He did his job. He was the offense because the rushing wasn't there. 29 carries for 142 yards and no touchdowns. Texas A&M's defense, one sack, two QB hurries, but no picks or fumble recoveries. No turnovers. That's big. You need to make turnovers. You want to win. Ole Miss, Jackson Dart, quarterback, and 13 of 20 for 140 yards. Three touchdowns, no INTs. Team rushing on offense, 63 carries, 390 yards, and a touchdown. 63 carries running the ball. They ran it down A&M's throat. And Quentin Judkins, Judkins, yeah. it's Quentin Judkins. I apologize, I'm getting his name wrong here as I'm getting tired late at night. He's a freshman running back, 34 carries, 205 yards, and a touchdown. Defense for Ole Miss, two sacks, two QB hurries, no picks, and a fumble recovery. That fumble recovery, the difference on there, and they ran it down their throat. Now we're talking about North Carolina and Pitt. This game was close, nip and tuck to the fourth quarter until North Carolina went 21 zip on Pitt in the fourth quarter and won 42 to 24. That was the difference in the game. So number 21 North Carolina notches up another win. Pitt's Keaton Slovis, 14 of 31, 236 yards, no touchdowns and no INTs. He's falling off a cliff. Team rushing, 30 carries for 131 yards and three touchdowns. And Israel Abanekanda, 26 carries for 127 yards and all three touchdowns. Team defense, two sacks, three QB hurries, no picks, no fumble recoveries. Defense did a little bit, but not enough. North Carolina, Drake May. Remember I told us about that Drake May was a quarterback who can throw 300 yards on anybody with a freshman? Maybe ACC Freshman of the Year, 34-44, 388 yards, five touchdowns, no picks, man. And 
on there is Antoine Green, 10 receptions, 180 yards, and two touchdowns. And Josh Downs had 11 receptions for 102 yards and two touchdowns. He just lighting it up all over the place. Team rushing for Carolina, 34 carries, excuse me, 30 carries, 86 yards, and a touchdown. Team defense, one sack, six QB hurries, no picks, but a fumble recovery. You know, they got enough, and Drake May just lighting it up. He's letting people know about things, folks. So they got it done. And as of right now, there's only two games left going that are on the list here. Number 12, UCLA is leading Stanford 24-6 with 13.40 left to go in the third. And San Diego State's up on Fresno State. Uh-oh, my pick's looking bad. 21-10, San Diego State being Fresno State with 8.03 left in the third. Well, tomorrow's going to be a game with two box score games, those two games there, and then I'll do a score review of everything that's happened. So, uh, it's late at night, and I need to get some sleep. So, thanks, everybody, for watching the video. As I said before, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and please... Be good to each other.